डिजिटल After watching this video, it will be easier for you to read and write the time from two types of clocks: analog and digital clock. First of all, I would like to tell you what are these clocks. Look at these two clocks. This clock is having numbers on it from one to twelve, and this is having only digits, single digits. So, this is called the analog clock, and this is called the digital clocks. The name of this clock is digital clock. and then name of this clock is analog clock look at this clock it is having the numbers from 1 to 12 and it has two hands first and second one hand is longer and the second hand is smaller this longer hand is called minute hands because it it shows minutes the smaller hand shows hours so this is called hour hand this is the digital clock because it is having only digits students you are familiar with five times table we are going to use this five times distributions in an analog clock look at this clock the numbers are from 1 to 12 and they are intervals between two numbers there is a gap between two numbers here 12 to 1 minute starts from here it's zero minutes but after crossing one interval it is equals to 5 minutes again 5 means 10 again 5 means 5 threes times 15 5 4 times 20 Five five times twenty five and so on. You can take guidance from five times table. Five one time is zero. Five one five zero is zero. Five one time is five. Two times is ten. Three times is fifteen and so on. It will help you a lot in reading the time. First of all, I will tell you what is o'clock time. look at this clock in this clock you can see that the longer hand or the minute hand is on 12 in all these clocks the minute hand or the longer hand is on 12 so this time is called o clock time because whenever it is o clock time the longer hand is on 12 like all these so we will read the time we will say 10 o clock One o'clock, two o'clock, and three o'clock. Ten o'clock, and in digital clock you can write this time ten zero zero because there is no minutes. So ten o'clock means it is having only the hours, not the minutes. Ten o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock. And three o'clock, and if you want to write this time in digital clock, you will write one zero zero two zero zero three zero zero like this. Ten o'clock is ten zero zero. Telling time. Look at this clock. If I divide this clock in four equal parts, each part is a quarter. This time, this part of the clock is said past. How many minutes past? And this part is called two. How many minutes are two? The next number. This is first quarter, and this is second quarter. Two quarters make a half, as you have already uh, learned that if a circle is divided into four into two equal parts. each part is called a half so this total part is a half this is also a half this first part 
of this half is called past time. And this is two times, okay? You will learn how to read the time from this table. Look at this clock. This clock shows that this minute hand passed or crossed one quarter. So that means quarter is past because this is past portion. So you will say quarter past one. Quarter past one in digital clock. You can also write this time. In this clock, quarter past because minute hand tells that quarter is past. So from minute hand, we will, uh, we will see that quarter past and min our hand will tell the number to the next. Quarter past four. Quarter past four. Quarter means that five ones are five, five twos are 10 and five threes are 15. So 15 minutes are past. One o'clock after one o'clock, not before one o'clock after one o'clock it has crossed a quarter or 15 minutes so we will say one o'clock and quarter past so that means quarter past one or one hour 15 minutes similarly here four o'clock and quarter is passed after four o'clock we have passed uh, 15 minutes a quarter so we will say quarter past four can be written 15 minutes past four or quarter past four. Clear? Now look at this one slide. What time is it? Anybody can tell? Very good. Quarter past seven. Very well done. In digital clock, we can write this time. Seven, 15. Seven is the hour and 15 are the minutes. Half past time, what is half past time? Look at this clock. This minute hand has crossed half of the clock. It has passed 30 minutes or half of the clock. So we can say after four o'clock, this minute hand has crossed half of the clock. So this is half past four, half past four. Or in digital clock, you can say four is the hour and 30 minutes here. Hours are written here. Four will be written here in digital clock and six will be written. Six means 30 minutes because minute hand is on six. So 30 minutes, six fives are 30. So 30 minutes have been passed. These are the minutes. So look at this one. Half past eight. Half past eight or you can say eight thirty eight thirty look at this clock half past ten that means after ten o'clock we have passed thirty minutes we have crossed thirty minutes the minute hand has crossed thirty minutes so ten is the hour and thirty are the minutes this is half past ten Half past four or 4.30, half past eight or 8.30, half past 10 or 10.30. What time is it? Very good. It is half past seven or you can say 7.30. Half past seven or 7.30. Very good. Quarter to time. Quarter two, how we can find quarter two? Now look at this clock. One quarter, two quarters, and three quarters. This minute hand has crossed three quarters. And 15 minutes are left, or you can say quarter is left. So this type of time is called quarter two, because I have already told you this part is called two part. So this is quarter two not quarter past, this is the past area, but this is the two area. So quarter two means quarter to this number, this hour. 15 minutes are still remaining to come the, to bring the hour hand at four. So quarter to four, quarter to four. Or you can say 
that in digital clock, you will have to write how many minutes have been passed. The minute hand is on nine. So five, nine times is 45. So that means three after R3, we have passed 45 minutes, not four, because we have not reached number four. So you will say three, R is three and minutes spent or crossed R45. So 345, you can say. Look at this clock. Quarter to two. Quarter to two. Quarter to one. Quarter to one. Quarter to two. Quarter to three. Now, if you want to write this time in digital clock, you will write 12, 45, 12, 45. This one, one and 45. After one o'clock, we have passed 45 minutes. So this is 145. After two o'clock, we have passed 45 minutes. So two and 45. In digital clock, you will say this is 245. Now let's have a summary of this lesson. Look at this di distribution. Whenever the minute hand is on o'clock, on 12, this is called o'clock time. When the minute hand is on three, it, it is called quarter past. When minute hand is on half uh, six, this is called half past time. And after this, this part is called quarter two. Minute hand shows quarter two. This is called quarter two, okay? O'clock time. Minute hand is on 12. Whenever the minute hand, longer hand is on 12, it is called o'clock time. And this is in the analog clock. This is seven o'clock. And seven o'clock in the digital clock is written seven zero zero. A quarter past, sorry, a half past. Quarter past and half past. This is quarter past. This is half past. Quarter past, half past. Quarter past is written seven fifteen. And 7.30 is called half past. Look at these two clocks. This is analog clock. This is digital clock. Half past. Minute hand is on six. That means this is showing half past after one o'clock. So this is half past one. In digital clock, you will write one and 30 minutes. One thirty. Now, quarter two, this part is remaining. The minute hand has to cross this part only. Rest of the part is crossed. So that means two, quarter two, quarter two, one, quarter two, one. But in digital clock, you will say that we have passed or crossed 45 minutes because nine fives are 45. Minute hand is on nine, so that means nine fives are 45. So this is 12, 45, 12, 45. So students, I hope when you watch this video again and again, you will make your concept about time and to read and write the time clearer and stronger. So watch this video again and again because this is a new topic for you. And it's very, very easier for you if you watch the video. Inshallah, see you in the next lesson. Stay blessed and safe. Allah Hafiz to all of you. Allah is my students.